So today I will be doing another beauty supply store related video. Today I'm going to be talking about hidden gems at the beauty supply store. I have a few products here that I want to talk about that you guys can find at your local beauty supply store. If you can find it at your local beauty supply store, I will be sure to find a link so you guys can purchase if you are interested in any of these products. The first thing I want to talk about is cosmetic puffs. Definitely hidden gems and these are making a major comeback. I have this one from Nika K, the medium size. I do apologize because mine is dirty, but that lets you know that I do use it. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these like on Amazon or you know stuff like that, but these are really good to set your under eye or just your face period. We're really into like makeup brushes and the beauty sponge has really taken over. A lot of different brands have their own version. Before I even bought a makeup brush, I always use a cosmetic puff. That's all I knew and I never washed mine. I, I know it was unsanitary at the time I didn't know but I kept using the same one over and over again until I buy a new one. So now that I know better it's time <laughs> it's time to toss it and buy a new one and that's why I like that it comes in different sizes now and you can buy them in like different you know three in a pack. This is only $1.99 versus you know, people are charging $20 for like a cosmetic puff. You can go on Amazon and get like a pack for a little or nothing. I have this two pack right here. Like people still use cosmetic puffs, especially like in the film industry. I'm pretty sure they do. So the next hidden gem at the beauty supply store are some press on nails. But the brand that I want to mention besides Kiss, you can find Kiss at the beauty supply store. I feel like Goldfinger is very underrated. I have a few of their nails and I feel like they do the same thing that kiss does but as you guys can see like this is trendy like the translucent like jelly kind of nail like come on now they do they're doing the same thing that kiss is doing um, but one thing that I like about Goldfinger is that they have that old school like nail design I am a big fan and always have been a big fan of the nail design where the lines go in all type of different directions. I don't see that anymore. I don't see a lot of people do that kind of design anymore. Like you would see it every now and then, but nail designs have changed over the years, but I don't see this kind of vibe anymore. And I wanted this so bad like when I was you know younger I remember in eighth grade I finally like for my eighth grade pictures I got my nails done and I got the whole shebang I remember and my mom let me get the you know the designs on my nails and after a while I learned how to do nails and I started to do my nails and other people nails I really wish I would have stuck with it because I was decent with it but yeah I used to do all this right here these are the auntie nails like the auntie vibe kind of nails and I don't see this kind of design anymore and that's one thing about Goldfinger they have like those auntie looking nails they still have like the today's nail design or whatever so like I said same price as Kiss you can't you can't beat it so definitely check out Goldfinger so the next hidden gem that I want to mention are some eyelashes and this is a brand that I really really like I know like when I started wearing lashes this was one of the brands that I worn like with Ardell and like some random beauty supply store lashes I know cherry blossom was that lash back in the day that I tried and I know red cherry was another popular brand but I always seen cherry blossom and they still sell cherry blossom to this day I know that Sam's Beauty um, inside the store they sell it for like 79 cents and then they have like a dollar rack and then they have like a two dollar rack so you can go in there and get some faux meek lashes for under three dollars basically you can definitely get that faux meek kind of look that you're looking for and these last for a really long time next hidden gem that i have are some highlighters from kiss these are their glow and bronze powder this can be for your face and body look how big these highlighters are like this will last me forever like this is all I need so they come in they might come in three colors but I don't know I'm not sure but I got medium and I got deep and I've been having these for a long time and as you guys can see still got plenty more product to, to go through but these are so good I want to say these are like $7.99 if you pick up a highlighter from like Mac this size you're going to be paying like at least 30 to almost $40 y'all this 
what I what I say like seven eight dollars like come on now let me swatch them for you all this one is in the color deep just look at how metallic and how bronzy and it looks wet like and it feels good it's very soft like you're gonna be paying some money if you go to Mac and get a highlighter like this y'all it feels so good like it's really pretty love it this is in the color deep these are definitely underrated like this one should be medium this one should be deep but whatever <laughs> but yeah these are definitely some hidden gems if you want like a nice highlighter i will put on a little bit even though i have on some but i will put on a little bit i'm gonna put this on for you all y'all know i like trying out highlighters so you see look at that look at that side versus this side even though i have on highlighter it just it is sitting on top of another highlighter but it just gave me that extra oomph it's so pretty look oh my god yes <laughs> and you typically don't need that much but This it's sitting on this side better than this side. But look at that. If you go to Mac, like they're gonna be charging you an arm and a leg. This could last you for a long time, to be honest. You really don't need another highlighter. So since we're talking about, you know, kind of like complexion products, I want to mention the Nika K Contour Duo little palette. Um, I guess you want to call it. This is the number N D O zero nine, and I had this before, like years ago. But I had to toss mine because mine was old and like dried out, and I used it a lot. But this is definitely a hidden gem. This came out like I feel like this came out before brands start to like really. Um, try to cater to deeper skin when it comes to bronzer and contour because i remember having this at the time and then having like covergirl and then eventually morphe came out but i had this before covergirl like this been out for a long time really wish they would extend some more colors because this is really good like this is definitely underrated and i think if they just like really extend their colors like i know their focus is not on this anymore but this is something that is lacking in the um beauty supply store you know community like especially for a deeper skin where we need affordable bronzers and contours and if they just expand the colors that'd be very helpful because i i want to say this is like three dollars you have like your contour shade right here and this could be your bronzer or this is basically just a contour palette you use it however you need it to use it for but like look at that i can definitely mix the two and get like a nice contoured bronzer kind of look and definitely can use this as an eyeshadow if you just like nice deep chocolate brown eyeshadows you can use this in your crease and y'all this was like way before it's time that's what i'm basically trying to say it's definitely a hidden gem you guys seen how pigmented it was i already got something on i would try it on a little bit for you guys but i would definitely try this on in a video i got so many beauty supply store content videos coming up so i will try that out like some of this stuff i will try out in the video so. so the next hidden gem that i want to mention is actually a pole brand itself and that is the magic collection if you go on their website they have like some really nice dupes for like high-end makeup so that's the one thing that i like about the beauty supply store they give you some nice dupes like you can tell like who they're duping but it's affordable so i just want to show you guys some palettes that they have to offer that you guys can check out from their you know entire brand so we have the um safari collection i mentioned this in the i mentioned one of these palettes in the best of beauty supply store of 2022 which is the giraffe palette but look at the colors in here like my palettes are beat up but look at the colors in the palette like a lot of transition colors in these palettes you got some neutrals you got some browns i'm loving these like hot orange red looking colors that you can put 
you know in your crease or to blend out another shade like these palettes can work with other palettes when you need those basic colors so they did an amazing job i don't know why they discontinued this because i don't think it's on their website but um i know one of you all told me you found it at your local beauty supply store so i'm happy you know you guys can find it there uh, but those are really nice nine pen palettes i think i have a video on this one like you know this one kind of gives me like nika k vibes as far as the packaging and they have another one like this and then they they have this one like this neon palette like so as you guys can see they have some really really nice bright colors so you know nika k is not the only one that's coming out with these little little nine pan palettes like check out um magic collection y'all they also have these palettes these palettes right here remind me of nika k but they're just in different packaging and i did a video on these as well um one of them is not my favorite but they're still like pretty you know they're still pretty if you don't like a lot of shadows if you just want like a monochrome kind of palette you have you know you have some options here but they have all type of different palettes from magic collection so yeah i just wanted to talk about the brand in general if you see them in the store definitely check them out you guys know that i love their setting spray and i used it today it's actually sitting right here i mentioned it in my video so yeah just check out their you know collection especially their eyeshadow palette so the last hidden gem that i want to talk about is from absolute new york i've mentioned these on my channel before but i just got to mention them again you guys these are from absolute new york and this is their perfect pair duo uh profe these are like lip liners, gradient lip duos. So basically you get a lip liner on one end and then the other end you get like a lip cream. These are so good for people that are not good with like the ombre lip kind of effect. And it basically does the job for you. And as you guys can see, they have so many colors, so many colors and I do have backups uh one of these are my favorite i think it's like malt yeah here it is uh oh of course i dropped one but this one is called malted chai one that i like has a brown lip liner and um it has like a nude lip cream so basically like i said it's like a gradient you know lip duo kind of situation and i just really really enjoy these i sometimes i like to wear it with the gloss and without a gloss but they look good regardless i'm gonna swatch one more for you all yeah definitely a nice hidden gem so definitely pick up all the colors really really nice and yeah i like these i like absolute new york they have some really really nice products and don't sleep on them don't sleep on the beauty supply store at all okay Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know you guys hit a gem at the beauty supply store. And definitely subscribe before you leave. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.